Hello boys and girls, my name's Brad from Game On Sports Coaching. I hope you're all keeping safe and well, and today I'm going to show you three activities that you could do in your garden or out in the park. Our first activity is going to be cricket, so I'm just using a tennis ball. If you don't have a set of cricket stumps, which not everybody is going to have, uh, I'm just using a garden chair. You could use any kind of chair you like or something else that's quite tall. Um, if you are using a chair though, Obviously, there's going to be gaps in it, so if it goes underneath, that would still count as hitting your stumps. So we're going to look at bowling. We're going to start off by using our two fingers and our thumb to bowl the ball. So I put my two fingers behind the ball and my thumb on the other side. Now, my first bowl is going to start directly above my head. So I will turn to face my stumps. I will hold my cricket ball in the air. If I hit my stumps so it goes through that gap at the bottom, it's going to count as one point. So I start with my hand directly in the air, bring it down bowl my ball so that's one point I might have another go so hold it directly in the air bowl my ball two points to move on from there what I'm then going to do is hold my ball in the same way with my two fingers and thumb but now I'm going to rotate with my arm from directly behind me so I'll keep it straight out behind me from here as I bring my arm up and over this time what I'm trying to do is brush the side of my ear with the back of my elbow in here so I'll hold it into the behind me I'm going to go straight up into the air, brush my ear, and bar my ball. Straight through, so that would be another point. Again, start directly behind me, bowl my ball. Oh, missed that last one. So three points out of four. So have a go at that activity. Uh, let us know in the comments what your score was, and maybe we can get a little competition going. So activity number two is with a tennis racket and some tennis balls. Also, I've got some items from inside my house over there on the floor. Uh, you can use any items. I've gone with some tins of beans, some fabric softener, some polish, my chair, rugby ball as well. Um, they can be all different shapes, sizes. You could use things like teddy bears. Uh, you could use cushions and pillows and things like that. Anything you would like to use. Now, I'm going to try and hit those objects, so you might maybe want to make them a little bit bigger or challenge yourself to have a smaller target. Each of my targets is going to be worth a different point, so my chair might only be worth one point because that's the biggest. The tin of beans, I might say, are worth five or ten points. It's your choice. Now, I'm going to do these in a forehand shot. So what that means is I'm going to hold my hand out like I'm shaking somebody's hand and hold the end of my tennis racket. From here, I want to then hit it on my favourited side. So for a forehand shot, you want to be on your right hand side if you're right handed or on your left hand side if you are left handed. Now, as I'm aiming at my target, I want to try and hit with the center of my racket. So I'm going to throw my ball up and attempt to hit. So that's hit the polish over. My second shot, so I'm going to hit. Oh, not quite hard enough. My third shot, hit the rugby ball. So I can add up my points, work out what I want them to be beforehand. You can use any items, as I say, for this activity. You can come closer, you can go further away. It is totally your choice. Okay, boys and girls, so for our third and final activity, I'm going to be using a rugby ball for this one. You could use a rugby ball, you could use a football, a netball, a basketball, a bigger ball than a tennis ball for this one to challenge yourself a little bit. Now, I'm going to do three different activities uh, inside my square that I've set up with cones. You don't have to do this with cones. You could use a tin of beans to use as your square, uh, but I'm going to do three different activities inside of that square. My first activity is just going to be a throw and catch. I'm going to do three of each, so it'll be a throw and catch. My second activity will be can I throw, clap and catch, which you will have seen in Coach Graham's video, him doing uh, with the tennis balls. And my final activity is can I throw the ball up in the air, do a 360 turn, so turn all the way around and then catch. With each of my catches, I'm trying to use both of my hands to bring the ball into my chest to make it more comfortable, make it easier so I don't fumble it out of my hands. So I'm going to show you one of all of those activities now. So activity number one, activity number two, and activity number three. With activity number three, 
you may need to throw a little bit higher because you've got to turn around so the higher you throw it the more time it give you to turn around but it's going to be harder to catch because it's coming from a bigger height uh, i hope you've enjoyed all three of these activities some different ones with some different equipment uh, like i say you don't have to use a garden chair for the cricket one you don't have to use the same equipment as i had for the tennis one if you don't have a tennis racket you could do that activity just by throwing and my last one there you could use any kind of bigger ball so it could be a rugby ball netball basketball or a football i hope you've enjoyed those three activities and hopefully we'll have some more videos for you again soon